Gee, I don't fucking know, do I? Oh, come on. You get this dumb motherfucker out here. I'm not doing any drugs. I'm not doing any meth. Nothing's happening here, but the connection is being screwed up here. Welcome to Talk Shoe. Please enter the Your entry is not valid or your call is Enter your PIN followed by You are now joining the call. You are unmuted. get up on their website here. And All right. Can you okay. hear me? Yeah, and finally, I think I'm still not connected yeah. to everything. I am still working about it. And uh, yeah. we're, we're, okay. we're trying to get up here. It's uh, pretty strange, but... Uh, <laughs> As so, it is every time I'm your guest. Yeah, <laughs> right? so there's, there's always technical <laughs> problems. <laughs> Recorded live. Now, hang on one more. Let's see if we can get one more up here. Yeah, somebody said, how come it only does it when your show starts? <laughs> See, I don't know, you know? Yeah, right. Somebody's messing with us, there's no doubt. Welcome to Black Talk Radio. Please enter. The pin you entered does not match the pin you have on file for your account. Please re enter. Our menu has recently changed. 
Please listen carefully to the new... So it appears you're calling back into the live show. We're reconnecting you now. All right. We got all... Okay. We got all connected Finally here. connected. And we are recording here. My guest is Eli James. He's a Christian identity yeah. pastor. Depending on who you talk to. He, he, he may be a, a, a Jew that's hiding and pretending to be a real Christian. He might be, a, he might be, actually, maybe, maybe, you know, I, I've just considered the possibility, considering all the trolls that we got on here, Eli, that maybe you're yeah. just a, a, an archon pretending to be a Christian and, and, and uh, you, 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 you really got no soul. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, uh, well, according to William Fink and his followers, who I like to call the Finkaholic, uh, I, I'm, I'm capable of being three people at once, <laughs> right? Because they put out two different videos uh, of me being some other party, you know, one of them being uh, Rabbi Yitzhak, I am not Yitzhak of uh, the Israeli state, who uh, was born in 1953 while I was attending Catholic school here in Chicago, right? But they still claim that I and, and Rabbi Yitzhak are the same person. Okay, well, the fact is that if there's any trolls or shells in this movement, it's William Fink, not me. Okay, uh, uh, let me just uh, make people aware of my relationship with William Fink and how all this started to come down. Uh, Bill, as you're aware, now what, uh, let me let me let me stop you for just a second here. Let me just okay. stop you for a second because you have been coming on my show for a lot of years. Years, yes. Years. You've been there, and, and Fink took a dislike to me, and I think he tried to do everything he could to break us up. Oh, yeah, Clay smokes marijuana. Right. Clay promotes uh, legalization of marijuana. Uh, and and, and he, that could be really dangerous because he, he, he's done it in 16 states. <laughs> right. But yeah, well, yeah, the, the man is uh, deliberately divisive. Uh, he basically uses Jewish tactics, smear tactics, defamation, demonization. I mean, just think about this. Anyone who would have the time to go online searching for uh, lookalikes and then concocting false evidence against someone claiming that I and that lookalike are the same person, I mean, that's about as low as any human being can possibly, I mean, I don't, know, I don't even know if Jews can get that low. But William Fink and his cronies definitely have sunk to that level. You know, anybody who can cock false evidence against somebody else is simply beneath, beneath human dignity, put it that way. That's, that's, so that's my opinion of William Fink, okay? Well, I and think you're he right. He's he called. Does, he does he, not just to me. He does it to others as he well. Has, he has. Uh, people have called me up and said that uh, he was uh, he was calling for my assassination because I offended him by criticizing or suggesting that maybe Paul in the Bible wasn't really Paul. He was really uh, Saul, a Pharisee that was charged with killing the Jews, and maybe he fell off that donkey and said. Ah! I don't have to kill these right. Jews. Well, I yeah, can well, take it over. Other, you saw the light. <laughs> right. Yeah, and uh, and you and I have done shows about Paul, and uh, uh, I'm basically very Paul friendly as well because uh, I think the translations of his work have been terribly mishandled by the translators, especially the Catholics and the Judeo Christians. Right. So uh, I can perfectly understand why people would think Paul. Uh, Paul's testimony contradicts that of Jesus Christ in the four Gospels, right? But it's the translation's fault. It's not Paul. Okay. So, and I think I made that my position clear to you. I, we did we did a number of shows on this subject, as well, I recall. Maybe now, now, yesterday I talked with uh, the Agnostic Liberation Front. Okay. <laughs> and uh, Harold. <laughs> You know, let's take, okay, let's take, let's take a, a yeah, let's, let's take a call here. All right. Let's take a call. Hello, Grandma. You're on the air with me, and, and 
you are on the air with me and Eli James. <laughs> Say hello to Eli. He's my guest today, but I saw you call. Hello, Grandma. Hey, how are you? What's going on? <laughs> we're doing a show, Grandma. Oh, we are. What are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's this we got? You got a mouse it, in your pocket? <laughs> well, me, he and I, yeah. He's he's a, a mouse in my pocket today. But uh -huh. we we were just talking about some of these people that have been trying to demonize me, calling for my assassination. They've lied about Eli James. They've accused of being a Jew in Israel, from Israel. Because they found somebody that looked like him. You said who could who could go through the pictures and find something like that? Well, the same people that could call every stockholder in a major corporation to tell them what a what a radical anti-Semite Clay Douglas is and threaten to crash their stock. Somebody that's got a little bit of a clout. Clout. Yeah. Him. Yes, sir. And Grandma, Grandma, and I have been sued, Eli. By, oh, really? by someone that tried to kidnap Grandma, she got away, and she uh -huh. did a, she did a show with me and to get a little bit of support, and uh, the guy sued me for having her on the show. I said that's a little bit, <laughs> that, that's a little violation of the First Amendment, uh, but there you uh, go. he's just done it to harass her and to try to cost her money and to try because they're trying to get her Durham Understood. Trust uh, uh, taken over. Which would, uh, if she had access to it, instead of the banksters that we're trying to prosecute, uh, yeah, Grandma would be the richest lady in the world. But Grandma, what's up today? <laughs> I, I've got I got a show to do with uh, Eli. Tell us what's up while we're on the air. Well, I I was chuckling to myself. Uh, Dean's a turnkey, and he will get the the paperwork today, where I'm hoisting them on their own petards. And not only that, you know, he's under a HIPAA investigation, and for too long that we're going to throw a civil rights lawsuit down his neck. This is Jean <laughs> Valentine. Jean Valentine is the one that sued me. Unfortunately, he couldn't serve me because the stupid son of a bitch don't know where I'm at. But, uh, <laughs> but, uh, go ahead, Grandma. That's, uh, has. Has there been any kind of ruling on that? Uh, you've no, submitted by no, my testimony here. I don't expect one for a while. This is really opening up a can of worms, you know, because Gene himself has uh, stated oftentimes that uh, he is a heavy contributor to the judges here in the county and to the state officials, and so he pretty much has everybody in, the, in his pocket. He laughs about that. And so I have a feeling that he's become a little bit of excess baggage to the local establishment now and to the state of West Virginia. You don't go around telling stories like that on, on your local politicians and your local judges. Well, I wish you the best of luck on this. <laughs> Grandma, I'm going to let you go. I've got a, a show to do with Eli here. We'll have you back on any time you want to come on. You should be at yourself. I will. I try, you know. I okay. Mean, little, little, little hard to do. Well, it's rougher all the time, doesn't it? Yes, ma'am. You know what's funny? I was talking to someone this morning, and we were talking about those farm planes. You remember the farm planes? Yeah, Eugene, uh, uh, well, Eugene Schroeder, easy. Eugene Schroeder led that out of Colorado and worked with me and Charles Collins when Charles was running for president. Yes, sir. I know. Yes, yeah. ma'am. Well, we were talking about that this morning. We were talking about how people had pledged their farms and their lands and their homes and everything into that to keep the IRS from getting it. That, but that's another story. We'll have to do one on that. All right, we, it, uh, the news you've been sending me is a little encouraging. At least overseas, they're prosecuting these bankers and shutting a few of them down. Two Israeli banks have been uh, tied into some kind of uh, money laundering or some kind of illegal well, action. That goes, that goes back to the 1991 banking fraud. And, and Israel and Russia and all of them were... Boy, Grandma knows a lot. Wow. All right. Good job. 
All right, Grandma, I'll let you go. Thank you. I'll call you get a uh, book, book a show anytime you want. Bye-bye. Okay, Bye-bye. All right, Eli. This is, this is uh, B.K. Durham. That was B.K. Durham. She uh, is the owner and controls B.K. Durham Thrust, which is a multi-trillion dollar fund from Peru. Okay. She's got all the paperwork. And, of course, the Federal Reserve and all of the banks have been fighting her and fighting her. They've killed her husband. They've tried to do everything they possibly wow. can. And and she just went through a period where she was about uh, getting ready uh, to, uh, to... She was just getting... Uh, she was just getting ahead, and this guy, Gene Valentine, picked her up and uh, was going to help her and tried to drug her and tried to do everything that she could. So, he could. Yeah, uh, okay. And, and the same thing's happening. William Fink is one of these people. Uh, now, I don't know whether Mike Delaney is just stupid, which I suspect is a little bit of the case, or and, and, and there's a whole controversy going on between him and a guy named Xander, who was a Zion crime factory. He was writing right. the articles. And um, uh, they, Mike Delaney took over his site, Zion uh, Crime Factory, and so I guess he's going to start another. But it, it, it's just typical of what happens, you know. Well, Clay's doing it. Well, right. well Eli's doing this. Well, well, this is all divide and conquer. That's right. It's all divide and conquer. And, uh, and, and well, uh, let me uh, let me say this, uh, William Fink has been attacking me ever since uh, our split over theological issues, okay? For two and a half years, he was my co-host on my uh, talk show shows, okay? And uh, in, in fact, he even uh, ran my website for a while, okay? And as far as I knew, we were in perfect agreement theologically until William Fink started teaching the idea that Yahweh God did not create the other races. That all the other races, only, only the white race is a pure race, and all the other races are demon creations, okay? This is what he was teaching. And of course, this flies in the face of archaeology and the Bible itself. Uh, so I immediately smelled a rat that uh, this is a deliberately divisive theology intended to destroy the Christian identity movement from within, okay? And I've been proven right by every tactic that William Fink has employed since our split. Well, this Immediately, is instead of debating me publicly, he has started producing videos claiming I'm a Jew and calling me a universalist. And all these things are just blatant lies. And he's afraid to debate me because I'll expose his lies in an instant. Okay? So, uh, you know, William Fink is a saboteur. He is the prime... Uh, uh, saboteur of the movement today, and he brought in Ma Martin Lynn Stett, and he brought in Zion Crime Factory, right? Uh, now, uh, De Delaney, I don't think, is uh, involved. He, I think he just hosted the website, and he hosts other websites, and of course, his ProThink 9-11 website uh, is actually very good stuff, right? But uh, I've been telling people that uh, Zion Crime Factory is a show. Uh, he was on the uh, Rebecca Carley show a few months ago, and toward the end of the show, I called in and challenged him on his uh, you know, religious position. Okay, you know, now he's been posturing as an anti-Zionist, anti-Jew, right? That's, he's been posturing. But then he generalizes beyond Judaism and uh, mercilessly attacks Christianity, including Christian identity. So whenever I see somebody attacking Judaism and then following it up with attacking Christianity and Christian identity to boot, I'm immediately suspicious of that person as being a show, okay? So I called into the Rebecca Carley show and, and told him, hey, you know, the Jewish people are not the Israel of the Bible. And then he says, oh, I'm not interested in talking about religion. You, you've been talking about religion. And your website is full of anti-Christian garbage, okay? So you're you're a hypocrite, <laughs> all right? Yeah. So I didn't I didn't use that wording on the on the show, but Rebecca Carley got my drift, okay? And he did too, okay? So your comment. You're about to say something. 
Hello? Yeah, I, I, yeah. I'm, I'm here. I'm just uh, yeah. following some of the... Uh, yeah, so uh, it was obvious to me that he was a phony right from the get-go. Right from the get-go. If, you, if your only purpose in criticizing Judaism is to call Christianity an outgrowth of Judaism, which is an absolute lie, because Judaism was created by the Pharisees, the Jewish Encyclopedia even admits it, the Jewish people aren't the Israel of the Bible, and uh, Zion Crime Factory, Xander, didn't want to discuss it. Well, I invited him to come on my show on this chat that they had on, and he didn't show up. Now, I okay. have been, I, let, let, let's, let me, let me confess here and be honest, so I can do that with you. And, uh -huh. yeah. by, by the way, I, I don't know if I ever thanked you enough for co-authoring my book, Mystery Babylon, The New World Order, uh, Unveiled, or for, for yeah. helping me up there, the Ron Paul Convention, up in uh, Wisconsin, mm -hmm. and uh, you know it, yeah. it's like uh, new David on my chat room. You know people uh, hassle him because he made the comment one time that uh, you know somebody in his family was a Jewish, and uh, but I've met you and I've met David and broken bread with you. And you know, I, uh, I I don't have a problem. And even if David was, you know, if, if his grandmother slept, uh, with, uh, or his, uh, you know, one of his great grandfathers slept with a Jew, you know, I'm not. Uh, I I don't think that makes him in, or her intrinsically evil. I and yeah. I don't ag agree. I don't agree with the people like Fink or, or the people like that there that want to go out and kill all the Jews because then they're doing the same thing that the Jews want to do to us because they call us cattle and they don't sacrifice us right. and yeah. their own people and their own Jews. Right. You're, oh, you're, right. a, poor, you're well, a poor Jew? We'll put you in a labor right. camp. You know? yeah, it's obvious, uh, Clay, that uh, there's not going to be enough time in today's show to discuss this matter thoroughly. So let me just tell people where to go. If you go to my website, www.anglo-saxonisrael.com, and uh, look for the article entitled, William Fink, Race Trader. William Fink, Race Trader. It will give you the entire story of how William Fink stabbed me in the back after two years of working with me because I, I refused to go along with his idea that God hates all the other races except the white race and that uh, Jesus Christ himself agrees and the Matthew chapter 15 verses 22 through 29 totally disagree with Fink on this score that uh, Fink is deliberately trying to destroy the Christian identity movement by turning it into a race-only movement, which would fall in line exactly with what the ADL wants to paint Christian identity as. Now, now so the, the, the reason the reason I did the one uh, mystery Babylon New World Order unveil is because I got the Homeland Security report. I already knew about George Bush protecting the Jews, the Mossad. And the drug right. and the drug running business, and that's the first time I got threatened by the CIA. And then uh, I see this assessment where they're painting Christian identity, and I've known people. The the guy that ran uh, uh, the Jubilee, the guy that were the he bought the right. uh, media yeah, bypass. Man. He bought yeah, media Jubilee bypass. newspaper outstanding. Yeah. Yes. Wonderful Christian identity people I had to meet. Carl Klein came from Christian identity, one of the best uh, uh, patriotic songwriters ever. And uh, I didn't agree with some of the things. Some, are, some of them tried to keep some uh, woman out of a publisher's meeting. And I said, well, wait a minute, wait a minute. You know, my wife uh, is uh, my partner here. She's sitting here right here beside me. She's going to be in this meeting. And if, uh, if it, so, if she can be in this meeting, this woman can be in the meeting. And if anybody sure. wants to kick them out, they got to come through me. 
Yeah, right. Yeah. So, so we rewrote the rules a little bit about uh, uh, finest people I know, finest people I know, and and uh, when yeah. Homeland Security yeah. tried to demonize identity people are fine moral people, when, but the shills pretending to be identity trying to destroy the movement, they're radicalizing it to the extent that they claim that or the Bible claims that God only loves white people and has no use for any other race and intends to destroy them all at the judgment day, that is a total distortion and subversion of Christian identity because it's not just about race. It's not just about blood. It's about blood and honor. Telling the truth. You know, I have Following said... the laws of Yahweh. That's what it's about. And if you're white and you disobey Yahweh's laws, you might as well be a Jew. Well, now, what, 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 how, far, how far back... Now, this this is where we'll get a little controversial here. And uh, we're, we're approaching... Is that controversial the, yet? <laughs> we're approaching... <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, I mean, probably with you here, you know. The, uh, some of the research, esoteric research, going back uh, 2,000 years to the Nag Hammadi uh, text uh, where they found somewhere like, something like the Dead Sea Scrolls, right. it, it, they're saying that there was a, a, a race basically from outer space, or races that come from outer space. Some right. of them look like gay, some of them are uh, reptilian, and some of them just look human. But they don't right. like us. They don't like humanity here on earth because we yeah. have something they don't. A yeah, soul. Yeah. A soul. L living blood. <laughs> a soul. Right. And, and, and yeah, but the grays yeah. don't, don't have living blood. That's, uh, that's true. But uh, the, uh, the, uh, the description that they yeah. gave in the text 2,000 years ago sounded like the Jews of today. And, and it's right on that's the cover right. of, it's on the cover <laughs> of our true. book. That Jesus okay. said, you know, beware of the Jews that say they're Jews, but are not. So, yeah. I don't have any yeah, no, problem. No, but uh, Clay, that brings up a good question. Go ahead. Why would a supposed identian go on the rampage attacking other people who are trying to expose the Jews in the world today? Why would, uh, why would uh, one identian attack another? Ruthlessly, mercilessly, day day after day, when uh, you know when all we're trying to do is ex expose the evil of the Jews, right? Well, is it, isn't it possible that someone like that might be working for the Jews? Isn't that really the reason why he's attacking us? There are because uh, we're there... having such great success in exposing what the Jews are. What, what so don't they hire people to do that? Yes, sir. Don't yes, sir. Anti-Semites. That's yes. They hire people to do that. Yes, sir. They do and that. Well, they brag about it. They brag about it on my show. I get paid four hundred dollars a month for coming in here to harass you. Yeah. yeah. Right. Exactly. Exactly. The, the, now, the here, one people need to know. Okay. Go ahead. Yeah, since this is the issue. People need to know who William Fink is. First of all, he was sentenced to 15 years for murdering a Mexican by the name of Arnaldo Ortega. William Fink was a sergeant at a jail, and he personally participated in clubbing Mr. Ortega to death. Now, when he came into the Christian identity movement, people asked him about this. And he told us a lie. He told us that he had nothing to do with the death of Mr. Ortega and that he was actually trying to prevent it and his only legal involvement was trying to uh, protect others you know, who were involved while he was sitting behind his desk, apparently doing nothing, while, while trying to help those who were being prosecuted in an unfair way. Okay? That's how he described his situation in regards to Arnaldo Ortega. Now, I'm going to quote from the Star Ledger of New York, New Jersey, October 25th, 1996. And it starts by talking about Mr. Ortega. He was only 27 years old when he was brought to the old Hudson 